Like looking like you're like looking at me or whatever. Um, so just say your name and and what you were doing here. <laughs> My name and what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, such a philosophical question. Uh, my name's Mario Munoz. I am I'm running sound for Ultrasonic Movie, running the boom pole. Then I'm going to be doing uh, sound engineering, mixing, and soundtrack work in post. And, and you've done a lot of movies. I've done zero movies before Ultrasonic. And so, so how in the world did you get on this movie? Well, uh, I met Ro Rohit through a. Uh, through a mutual friend we started doing music together actually and we released a EP and I actually pretty much helmed the production of this EP where uh, you know I rented a bunch of equipment we we did it in his basement and then I mixed and produced it and re we released it online uh, man when was that that was almost a year ago now maybe like eight months ago and then he was really happy I guess with the with the work that we did together and he was excited about this movie so he decided to ask me. Uh, I wasn't completely sure. Uh, it took me about a month of deliberation before I actually accepted. And and, and why is it that you uh, were deliber deliberating exactly? <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, there there's a couple of ways to answer that but I guess the best way to answer that is um, I, not having worked in the movie set before, not really knowing what Rohit had in mind when he first started off, uh, I felt that I know I wasn't sure how much creative control I would have, or how, or what I'd be doing. Period. Or there were some insecurities about whether I could do it at all, and so I think there are just a lot of issues. And and I know when we worked on the EP together with Ro, there were, there were you know some interactions in terms of direction and and finally I thought about it and I realized that it actually was a great opportunity and you know Ro and I are our friends so I thought you know what he's my friend here's a great opportunity to do something that I will enjoy and that was it so how do you think that uh, the last day of filming yes, you know, how, yes. how do you think um, what are your feelings about that and how you think it, it turned out are you are you you know uh, obviously probably glad that you you took the leap yeah I am actually very glad and for a lot of different reasons I didn't expect uh, one of the biggest reasons is just meeting with the cast and crew I think they're all terrific people uh, I love everyone on set and that's been a really good experience as well as uh, some of my own insecurities in terms of uh, artistic direction are actually supported in a, in a group and I think that's why uh, movies in general or any collaborative project can be very helpful to an artist or to a person who, who wants to pursue something because you have a lot of support from a lot of different people that really helps and then as far as how I feel about what I've done so far I uh, the first day was a little shaky I think uh, trying to understand the movements or how I was going to do everything but I've been able to capture good audio and I think I'll really find out in the next couple weeks to a month as far as what what I have and I'm more confident actually in the studio than I am moving around. And uh, um, so you have any good stories about Ro and Sid or, or anything that, um, uh, I don't know, looking back, a fondest memory, anyone or anything? Uh, uh, there's a, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, there's a, there's a funny story I guess that I could, I, I don't know what I'm allowed to say or not to say. <laughs> you can uh, say whatever. Uh, 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 Ro has the final cut uh, on the yeah, uh, documentary. So. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> so there was a, um, there was a night where we were all hanging out after a long day of shooting and and uh, we were at the Olive Lounge, this you know bar restaurant where we hang out and uh, <laughs> Rohit was explaining to, uh, to a group of us of, about how he feels like a lot of times people people think he's kind of an asshole because <laughs> he comes off as really brash and really you know he's very driven and and so he he was telling us this story and uh, and um, Silas, our, our lead actor, he, he's kind of a peacemaker. He tries to make everyone kind of feel good. So he's like, well, I wouldn't say that you're an asshole. I'd say you're you're very focused. And so 
that became a running joke because then I said, "Yeah, bro, you're very focused." <laughs> so now every time, uh, every time uh, you hear someone saying you're being very focused, I think it has a, a double meaning. But I, I'd say that Ro is very focused. He's very driven, and and you know, it, if you could say in both senses of the word, but when you really get to meet him, he's he's an awesome guy. He he really cares about his friends. He cares about what he does. He loves doing what he does, and I think that's very admirable. Uh, do you have any aspirations? I don't know to make any music videos or uh, uh, any other forays into other genres of work after this. <laughs> uh, there was a. I've I've been doing music for probably around ten years. Where I, I, I think I started playing guitar in my late teens and early twenties, and then I started writing music and recording music. I learned how to do a lot of production just on my own I, and I've loved doing that and I've been doing that and I will probably continue doing that working on music and uh, funny story was what happened on set I think we were shooting in metro scenes and uh, this uh, <laughs> I don't know where the idea came from but someone started uh, talking about elevators and about things that happen in an elevator like elevator sex and so as a kind of April Fool's joke I decided to uh, write a song called Elevator Sex in one of my least known genres of music, which is hip-hop. So I have released a, a hit single hip-hop song called Elevator Sex, and maybe, uh, hopefully some people from set can help us do a video for that later on. That'll be fun. But after that, I, I probably will pursue some, some um, other journeys into film. I, I, I like writing. I might try some writing and I definitely want to continue with the sound production. Cool. Awesome. All right.